shake this bad boy down right now. Welcome to my weekend vlog. Um, it's gonna include probably a shakedown on that. Uh, I might go riding with Cody, I don't know. I might take out the X3. Um, this bad boy right here, this bad boy's next. Uh, this is just some of the parts it's getting um, along with, boom. This slip on exhaust, uh, full header wrap, uh, fan override, thermostat delete, snorkels are gonna get gone through. It's gonna be good to go up to here and you know what uh with all the lambert belt cooling mods and stuff this thing's gonna run cool and it's gonna run proper and uh yeah so i guess stay tuned uh for the weekend vlog there's gonna be uh some sick action going on here so let's go let's go shake this bad boy down and bring her up to temperature I'll try not to get bucked off. It's a handful. and the inner to do the starter high torque starter um what else so starter cleaned up all the clutches i uh, gave them kind of just overhauled them there was one spring that was broken um replaced that spring i uh, went ahead did the thermostat delete so it circulates through his radiator every single time no matter what um sealed up his air box pocket so now you won't swamp up to here uh, i did that as well and then i did a heavy duty 50 amp uh, fan override switch there. Um, that, just, that along with all this, I mean, and it's the, the heavy duty switch. Boom. It is on fused ignition power. So not only will you not kill your battery, you won't burn it down because it's on a fuse. So anyways, this is just some of the custom work that I do. This is Buddy's 2020. It is sick, like assassinators, everything. Like I'm just happy and thankful that he actually brings it to me. I mean, this thing has warranty and all that. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I ended up having a starter for this thing uh, on the shelf. I'll have me a high torque off my 2015 Turbo Mav OG. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna uh, wash this thing and Cody's probably gonna come pick it up or I'm gonna load up and maybe we'll both go out. So I guess stay tuned this evening. Uh, there'll be some fun stuff going on and uh, yeah, my weekend vlog. Thanks for watching.
You like it? Happy? Lambert built, baby. <laughs> Did right. run good? Hey there, how's it going today? Um, so, day after, Cody was thrilled on the way his bike ran. Um, he said it ran better or just as good as it did the day he picked it up. So that's, to me, that's pretty high praise because I mean, <clears throat> I went through it front to back. I mean, clutches were off, it was torn apart. I had to do the starter. Um, you know, I went ahead, sealed the backside of the inner clutch cover housing. Uh, you don't have to do that. It comes with fancy O-rings, but uh, you know, that caulking and stuff like that is just extra insurance. Um, just an old Lambert build trick, I guess. You know, I've been building these mud bikes since 2009, uh, maintaining them, building them, modifying them. Uh, and you know, I'm big on modifying. Uh, these modified bikes running around with uh, stock cooling systems, good luck. Rad relocate on that one, overheating like a sieve. Oh, I, I, rad relocates are not the fix. Everybody thinks, oh, I'll get my rad in here. Anyways, I won't go there. Um, you gotta modify your cooling system if you wanna have a modified bike. You wanna run higher octane fuel, you wanna, you know, anyways, so, this bike's done. I'm gonna end this video off. I mean, uh, if anybody's in Saskatchewan and they're looking for modified Can-Am work, uh, mild to wild, um, definitely uh, hit up Lambert Built on in Lambert Built on Instagram or send me a message on YouTube here. Um, I'm in Metal Lake, Saskatchewan, Northern Saskatchewan. I'm in Saskatoon often. I can, you know, I do custom snorkels front to back. Uh, blah blah blah. I, anything exhaust header wrap clutch tuning, clutch kits, clutch cleaning, servicing, anything Can-Am, I live for Can-Am, I live for BRP, XM, you know, XP, uh, right up into the new ones. I mean, there's 2020 on right there. Uh, <clears throat> I have all the clutch tools for everything. So, I mean, you want Dynamo Joe clutch kits for sleds. Uh, I have a buddy uh, in Curtis Randall, he he does, uh, he, he has, he's a, he carries Dynamo Joe kit. And Dynamo Joe is the only way to go, I mean, if you're doing a mountain sled, because you can do dual elevation weights. But anyways, wrap up this video on this one. Cody was happy. Uh, we're gonna start on this one right here. He's basically getting everything that um, Cody got, plus the header wrap. So Cody's gonna come back for the header wrap. Um, I guess uh, for now, we're just kind of getting his bike back, you know, good to go and stuff like that. Um, skeg worthy but this one's going we're going full out um everything so i'm going to do a separate video for the process that i do you know top five mods for these xmrs which, which would be snorkels um exhaust header wrap they go hand in hand um it's a 50 degree belt temperature difference i've had internal belt temperature gauges so i know what belt temperatures were before and after this stuff and it's a 40 to 50 degree difference and when your belts blow at 200 to 210 degrees well <laughs> this stuff is awesome. So basically, header wrap isn't to make your pipes look fancy. It's not there to look good. It's there because you want to keep the heat in the pipes and out the back. So heat retention in the pipes, get the exhaust temperatures out the back. Those temperatures won't dissipate into your clutch cover housing here. So that's the theory behind it, or that's not even a theory, it's a fact. So um, belt gauges don't lie. Um, along with that, um, it's just proven reliability. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a fan override switch. We're gonna do a thermostat delete and we're gonna install this beautiful titanium TIG welded pipe. So I guess uh, stay, stay tuned in another episode for this Outlander. It's a serious build and uh, Cody's is pretty much wrapped up. We got another happy customer. Um, and yeah, I got, I'm gonna drop his oil and see if he wants to put some fresh 040 in there. And then uh, other than that, yeah, he's gonna pick her up on Monday. So. Stay tuned for the weekend vlog. I mean, thanks for watching this one. If you've actually watched up until this far and watch me blabber on about, you know, Can-Am and BRP and, you know, uh, what I know. So, um, like I say, if you need work done, please consider me. Uh, I'll let my work do the talking because I never talked this up to Cody at all. I just said, you know, I can do these things. And then once he took it out, he was happier than a pig and shit. And to me, that's the most important thing. That's that's why I do this. That's why I modify these bikes. Um, if you want to see my X3 Turbo, it has five foot nine snorkels, cold air intake, 240 horsepower, uh, Evo Power Sports tune. Um, that thing is a skeg ripper. Tire speed. Anyways, 
we're gonna end her off. Uh, thanks, Cody, for letting me cut into your new bike and uh, letting me get her done. I appreciate it a lot and uh, right on. Thanks for watching, guys.